Any one of the more than 35,000 students at Texas Tech University could have the next life-changing idea. One student came up with his innovative idea while still in high school. Wanting to enter a local science fair, Alberto Garcia decided to research concussions after suffering one while playing high school football in Olton, Texas. I started doing research over concussions. I came to see how they uh, came to be. Um, I found out that not only linear acceleration forces or like um, straight on impacts were a major cause of concussions, but also rotational acceleration forces, which is the whiplash motion of the neck and the rotation of the neck and head. After three years of studying, researching, and building his answer to concussion reduction, Berto finally had his helmet and shoulder pad apparatus built. I have stabilizers around the neck, as you can see here, and they are controlled by a microcontroller that I hooked up to four sensors around the front and inside the helmet. The players have full movement whenever the microcontroller, whenever the stabilizers aren't activated. So as soon as the system receives the impact, the microcontroller activates the stabilizers. They stiffen up the neck, reducing that whiplash motion of the neck. After winning accolades at regional and state science fairs, he won third place at the prestigious and highly competitive Intel International Science and Engineering Fair in Pittsburgh. Never been to a competition where it was so competitive, like just walking into the room you could feel how competitive it was and just looking at the different projects, it was just amazing. But Berto's system could have a bigger impact than sports. An official with the Navy told Berto his idea could possibly help troops on the battlefield. Uh, in case of an explosion, it would help a lot. It would actually reduce the amount of whiplash that they received. Before he could start the journey of one day marketing his system, there was something Berto needed to do. I knew before then that I was probably going to have to get a patent because it was something new. The award money that I got from Intel, it was actually possible for me to get a provisional patent. So right now we are doing the market research, just um, like I said, trying to see where I can take it, either the automotive industry or sports, physical, into physical contact sports, maybe in the military. And it's Berto's drive and ambition that caught the attention of Honors College Dean Michael San Francisco, who first met Berto at a regional science fair. He has this compassion for his research, his thing. And I, I was really, really impressed that with relatively minimal outside input, that he was able to actually develop this concept and to put it into a device that can be measured, could be useful. Lots of people have good ideas. A few people execute them and only a couple of them actually see it to the next level. And one of those steps is to have the patent, right? And, and to get a patent is not a trivial issue. Post-graduation, Berto Garcia's plans are simple, to make a difference in people's lives. I've always had the entrepreneurial mindset. One of my goals is to actually just work on different ideas that would have a major impact on people's lives, one idea at a time. This is Lacey Nobles for Texas Tech Today.